Auburn and Oregon certainly gave us a thrilling BCS championship game, the conclusion of the college football season. But, of course, it's college football, so we need some debate. We need a little bit of controversy. And for that, we bring in the executive director of the BCS, Bill Hancock. Bill, glad you could be with us. And recently you said that there was no groundswell from university presidents and conference commissioners for a playoff, but there seems to be at least a groundswell from the fans. How do you weigh that? Well, first of all, Anish, thanks for having me on. Uh, and, yeah, we understand there's some people who would like to do something different, but the folks who have the long-term interest of the student-athletes and the game itself in mind, the folks who have to be the stewards of that, uh, realize that what we have is 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 the best for the athletes and best for the game in general. What about a plus one scenario? Golly, the commissioners talked about a plus one uh, back in 08, and they had a good discussion about it. And I think the concerns were changing the nature of the bowl games and uh, what we call bracket creep, which is real. And every bracket in every sport has grown over the years, and before long, four teams wouldn't be enough, and that would grow to eight or 12 or 16 and who knows where and then the, i think the last thing was how would the teams be selected and would there be any less contention than what we have today and they just couldn't satisfy themselves with the answers to those questions They're, they do have a playoff at the fcs level at division two II and, and division three so if those three levels can make it work why not the fbs you know those are successful reasonably successful but it's apples and oranges uh they're drawing 10, 16,000, and, and, and we draw, of course, 80 to 90,000. And it's just the effect on the campus life is just completely different in those. Uh, we wouldn't try to change those, but we think what we have is, is best for uh, Division 1A. Bill, uh, there's a book out. <laughs> it's titled Death to the BCS. I'm sure you've heard about it. They call you guys a cartel. They outline a playoff system. What's your response to what was laid out in that book? Book? What book? <laughs> right. Uh, you know, I read the book. I know Dan Wetzel, one of the authors, and uh, the, the book is, is it, it's full of half-truths and uh, incorrect quotes. I know one attributed to me was not what I said. Uh, and they call, they call for a 16-team playoff to be played on campus sites. With Why campus couldn't that work? Um, we tried campus sites in basketball. You know, as you know, I was director of the Final Four before I got to do this, and it didn't work. The school said it's too much of an advantage. We have to go to neutral sites. And that would happen as quick as could be in a football playoff. What about a school like TCU or Boise State last year? Um, you said that without the BCS, a school like TCU couldn't play in the Rose Bowl. But what's your message to their fans who say, well, we didn't want the Rose Bowl. We wanted to play in Glendale. Well, what we have is a two-team uh, championship game. And uh, Team 3... Uh, this year got a tremendous reward. And if you talk to Coach Patterson, he knows that those athletes got a lifetime experience and the opportunity for them and their fans to get to go and uh, get the form of the Rose Bowl was, was a wonderful, incredible experience. And I, I would not want to take that away from them. But again, what if they wanted to play for a national championship? They were undefeated in most sports. You go undefeated, you get that opportunity. Oh, I think you have to be careful about setting up any kind of a playoff format where, where every undefeated team qualifies. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure you could ever make that happen. All right, Bill Hancock, the uh, executive director of the BCS, joining us here on College Football. Uh, Bill, do appreciate your time. Thanks, Anish. Let's bring back Todd Blackledge. And, Todd, one of the things we debated, the merits of uh, the current system in the playoffs, what is your ideal postseason scenario? <laughs> I don't know if I have an ideal scenario. I'm not a playoff guy. I never have been. I love bowl games. I played in four bowl games as a player. I love the whole experience of it. It's, it's special for anybody that's ever played college football or coached or the families. I guess what I would lean towards uh, in it, I don't know if I have time to lay it out or not, but I would say take your four major bowls, add a fifth one, maybe the Capital One. I've done that bowl for a few years. It's a big-time bowl. You have all your major conference champions get affiliated with, you know, Pac-10, Big Ten in the rows like it is. Sugar Bowl gets the SEC. The Big 12 goes to the Fiesta. The, uh, the ACC champion goes to the Orange Bowl. The Big East champion would go to the Cap 1 Bowl, and you'd have four at-large uh, uh, teams. 
and you play those games. Now, first of all, I think all those games should be played on December 31st or January 1st. Nothing later than that. And it's an unseeded plus one. So you play those five games. You have ten teams that play, and maybe of the ten, at least six of them realistically have a shot to maybe get voted to play the next week in a national championship game. I would be okay with that. But even if there was no plus one, I would still be okay just with five major bowl games on January 1st. And if there's debate and controversy, so be it. Because the regular season of college football is awesome. And the bowl experience for players, coaches, and families is awesome. And, and you have any kind of a playoff system, it will destroy the bowls at that major level because it won't be a week-long experience or a trip anymore. It'll be just like an away game going on a business trip with the idea that if you win, you play the next week. You get enough people in a room, you can talk about this topic for <laughs> probably weeks on end. It's not going away. Thanks, Todd. Uh, we'll come back.